and important phrases during the pandemic, but there are two people in West Michigan who can't help but violate that rule. And once you hear their story and how an act of violence brought them together, you may understand why. Here's 13 on your side's Emma Nicholas. I could see Dan talking to someone, but I couldn't see who it was. I said it might be weird, but a year ago, as soon as I say that, her husband, the male husband, Dan, he's like, you Markel. And I just ran. I just ran and I grabbed him. There are certain moments that nothing can prepare you for. Knocking on doors, just hoping, hoping somebody see me. That was the case on March 29th, 2019, as Markel Pruitt... I was shot three times. ...ran with three bullets in his leg, looking for someone to call for help. I really was giving up until she came. Linnell Miller saw him running. So I ran to the door and I heard yells for help. She couldn't tell what, but she knew something was wrong. As soon as I got to him, he hit the ground. Angel, like, I don't know where she came from. I didn't know what to do other than to just hold him and um, make him breathe. The minutes felt like hours, waiting for the ambulance to come. She was basically like my motivation, like, to keep fighting. Like, that's why I thank her so much. She motivated me to, like, keep my eyes open. Pruitt promised himself once he could walk again, he'd find Miller. When he came to the door yesterday, it's like, it was prayers being answered. He had no idea. She'd been waiting. They've been waiting for me, and I've been waiting until I can get right to meet her, finally. Like, it, was, it was crazy. In that moment, social distancing just didn't matter. There was no way I was not gonna, not gonna hug him at that point. We just grabbed each other and both cried. In Grand Rapids. I really can't put in the words, like, I'm just happy I'm, I'm here. Emma Nicholas. Every day I bring a 